Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. Today's story is about three men who discovered that they messed with the wrong person when they attacked a grandmother at the ATM. But before we proceed with the story, please hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. And if you like our stories, don't forget to press the bell icon below to never miss out on a story from our channel. A lot of people don't have basic morals. They go after old, helpless, or poor people, thinking that such people would be easy target for them. And a lot of times, victims don't even get the chance to confront their abusers. But this is a special case where an old granny taught the men to never judge a book by its cover. Winifred began her day as normal. She left the house to complete some tasks and visit the neighborhood market. It was her normal routine, but something felt weird when she reached the market. When she was taking out the cash, she felt someone was following her. Her skin began to saunter, and the hair on her neck stood up. Three men, all of them in their 20s, began moving with malicious motives towards her. These fraudsters were trying to cause trouble, and Winifred was going to teach a harsh lesson for them to remember for a lifetime. This once jittery British neighborhood was about to get a tale that would be popular for quite a long period of time. Winifred Peel, a 77-year-old grandmother, leads a prosperous life near Liverpool. The aging grandma has never been in a rush, and that is the way she likes to enjoy her life. She aspires to lead an active life, but that comes with significant barriers, definitely owing to her maturity. Yet she was not going to let anything discourage her from protecting herself on this day though. Traditional weather in England arose that day, prompting Winifred to put on layers before taking off. She looked through the local stores and figured that it was the golden time for some coffee and something delicious to cheer her up on such a freezing afternoon. As she waddled by the main square, she observed three men standing on the footpath. It attracted her focus, but she did not imply much about them when she walked past them. As her family and friends name her, Winifred enjoyed doing various things. She's a pleasant woman, usually maintaining her greenhouse and constructing in any case. She had a lot of skills, but she never thought that she would have to use them in such a situation. She tried to remain strong, vigilant, and active throughout her twilight years. Little did she know she was going to pull a shocking stunt that would require quick movement and speed thinking to go successfully. She remembered that the daughter of her best friend would have a birthday sooner. She desired something good for her, so she went to a local retail store. While scrutinizing the pavements, she discovered a few good items she knew the girl would admire. While taking a peek in her purse, she noticed that she needed more cash, so she stopped everything and went straight to the nearby ATM. It was at that moment the older lady noticed herself overshadowed by strange and aggressive men before understanding what was going on. She needed a moment to cool down, allowing a younger lady to leave before. She noticed she was in the company when she took out her purse and headed towards the ATM. Observing a man's image on the ATM display, initially she presumed that someone next to her clearly had no ordinary etiquette and was standing too near. She followed with her trade, putting in her pin and hit the continue button. Her eyes went foggy at once and she plunged to the floor. It required her a moment to figure out what had happened, but she quickly discovered that she had been forced to the floor. Wrath flooded her body immediately and she sprung back as soon as she could. She definitely thought it's extremely improbable this guy would take my money, but this time it was the gangsters who had no chance to react, as when he suddenly started to retaliate, she grabbed the man's head next to her and smashed his head against the concrete wall. The bandits began retreating. She remembered that it was the three men that she had encountered arguing before in the street. She started trembling with adrenaline rushing throughout her body. She had finally interpreted what had really occurred to her after a minute or two. Acknowledging the scenario may have gone unpredictable. It was only afterwards that I realized what I had achieved, she said while quivering. Imagine a situation where the man had a dagger. I certainly won't be here at this moment. Though she is absolutely right in her post-assault, thought we'd be hypocritical if we said we weren't glad she went through it. Luckily, she only had superficial wounds from the attack and the attackers weren't going to run away with it. When the incident took place, people started to crowd around her, trying to confirm if she was alright. Evidently, she was upset, but still, she wanted people to help her apprehend the offenders. It was all she could contemplate. Two men went after the perpetrators trying to apprehend them. Despite the fact that they were missed by the wonderful Samaritans, police were fast on the trail taking a closer look at the wall. Everyone has seen just how much energy she had behind her tiny arms. She had done the attackers some real damage and they deserved all of it. She couldn't be more excited about her move. She had chosen to defend herself and scare the hooligans back. Thank goodness this episode ended in justice and Winifred became a neighborhood icon. 
police noticed the three men standing down the road and caught them. One had an apparent mark on his head where she smashed it against the wall. They were taken to the police station and were going to receive punishments that would reflect their sickening behavior. Each of the three men confessed to their crimes and were sentenced to prison service. The judge said during the final years of her life, they had created a stigma and they ought to make up for it. Despite these challenges, she's happy that this happened to her and not to someone else who couldn't defend as she did. Now she's a neighborhood hero recognized as the woman who wouldn't let anyone victimize her, given the fact that the situation may have developed startingly if the perpetrators had a knife. We're all satisfied that equity prevailed. She has already carried on living as she did before the attack, being as creative as she could be. What she taught us all is a valuable life lesson. Don't judge a book by the cover. That's it for today's video. Tell us your opinion about this story down in the comments section. Like this video and share it with your friends if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more wonderful stories coming your way on a regular basis. See you in the next video!